Bethel family. I'm Lee Woolery, along with uh, our youngest daughter, Lindsay, and her family. We have been a part of uh, Bethel for just a little bit over a year. And we are so blessed to have this connection with, uh, with, a, with a very special family. We, uh, we are missing the on-site worship, for sure, but thankful for online worship. Our two youngest grandchildren, Sophie and Rhett, are missing Sunday school, but have been really blessed by the summer program. Ten weeks where they've been able to go uh, every week and pick up their packet of material for the week. And so we're uh, very blessed and thankful for that. And a, a big thank you to uh, the summer students who have put together this children's program for the summer. It's been, uh, it's been a real delight. So it's not only the uh, kind of the personal connection to have with Bethel that, that we've missed, uh, but also Bible Camp, Hastings Lake Bible Camp. Since 1980, our family has had connections with this camp. And this summer seemed really strange, not being able to be out here. But in fact, that's where I am right now. And I'm grateful for the opportunity to share uh, this brief devotion piece with you uh, from Hastings Lake Lutheran Bible Camp. So very simply, uh, this could be titled, This is the Day. Psalm 118 verse 24 puts it this way. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, let us rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Boom, boom. Sometimes easier sung than to be done. It's been uh, a tough year and not even a year and a half. My wife of 47 years, Gretch, died suddenly. I retired from active ministry of which we'd been involved for over 43 years and uh, then I moved from Calgary where we had lived the longest that we had ever lived since we were married 14 years and moved to Sherwood Park and it's been hard uh, and it's been a struggle to kind of uh, find what is precious about this day it's been easier for me to look back the way things were and to be feeling unsettled about the uncertainty and anxiety about what is to come. But I found some uh, support, some help, some encouragement in God's Word. Good place to go. Matthew chapter 6 verse 34, just a few words. And this is from Eugene Peterson's uh, paraphrase the message. Give your entire attention to what God is doing right now and don't get worked up about what may or may not happen tomorrow. God will help you deal with whatever hard things come up when the time comes. Try to live each day appreciating the gifts and the blessings and the joy of each day hasn't always been easy. It's been a steep learning curve for me. Last November, I went uh, home to Omaha, Nebraska, where my mother still lives in the same house that we moved into in 1953. And in the meantime that she's been uh, living all these years in that place, I've lived in Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin, Indiana, Missouri, Florida, North Dakota, 
Saskatchewan and Alberta. But my mother, who is 95, is still in her same own home uh, that we moved into so many years ago. My mom has had um, an impact on my life. Uh, her deep faith and trust in Jesus Christ has been amazing through the years and has been an ongoing gift to me. She's also been one in my earlier years that uh, gave me the gift of appreciating music, even classical music, taking me to symphonies and special events. And then also uh, sharing a joy of reading, not only uh, the Bible, but a wide range of, of books she placed in front of me. We used to go to the public library, she'd take me to bookstores. It's uh, something that is ingrained in my very being to this day. While I was visiting with my mom back in November, uh, she all of a sudden said that she wanted to take me upstairs in the attic. The attic is uh, finished and uh, once upon a time was my bedroom. And she wanted to show me something and I said, well mom, can I just go up and get it and bring it down? But no, she had to climb up the stairs. And I followed her up and there was this huge box. And so I opened the box and inside were all these notebooks notebooks. So I picked up one and I said, Mom, what are, what are these? She said, uh, it's my journal. Since December 26, 1974 until the beginning of June 2017, my mom kept a diary, a journal, every single day. Never knew that. Nobody in her family knew that. She would sneak it in sometime during the day or in the evening when nobody was uh, around and she would record her thoughts about the day. And I asked her, why was it that she wanted to mark each day? And she said, because I didn't want to miss the blessings and the joy of that day. Every day. Those journals are a gift for me and a reminder of how precious each day is. My mom, every morning, she says, gets up, and the first thing she says is, God, what are you and I up to today? And for me, that's a great reminder of the joy of looking forward to what is a part of each new day. And so it's not always um, easy for me to come up with something, but I've discovered there is something precious, a gift that God has for me each and every day. At the end of the day, as I go up the stairs to go to my bedroom, uh, at the top of the stairs is a piece of carved scripture art that was uh, a gift from a family friend. And on it is Isaiah chapter 40, the end of that chapter. And it goes something like this. Those who hope in the Lord shall renew their faith. They shall rise up on wings like eagles. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. And I have discovered that some days I feel like soaring and some days I feel like maybe doing a little running or maybe some days maybe walking or maybe some days I'm just barely moving. But hoping in the Lord and knowing that each day is a gift is a precious reminder for me. This is the day that the Lord has made. So let us rejoice and be glad in it. Please join me in prayer. Gracious and loving God, thank you for today. Help me 
to open my eyes and my heart to the precious gifts that you are unfolding for me and for those around me each and every day. Thank you for the blessings of having a church family. Thank you for the gift of pastors, Marv, Matt, and James. Be with them and their families as their lives as families are being reshaped and as their ministry is being shaped as well. And keep us all safe in the palm of your hand. In the name of your Son, our precious Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.